Healthcare Health now. More than 29 million people in the U.S. have diabetes, a disease that can affect eye health. And with those numbers expected to double by 2050, there just won't be enough doctors to properly screen patients. That's where UW Health ophthalmologist Dr. Yao Lu's pioneering research could make a big difference. She's trying to find ways to expand eye care through telemedicine, especially for our state's rural areas. So, Doctor, it's great uh, to have you here. Thank you so much. And it's really interesting research you're doing. Tell us first, what is teleophthalmology? Sure. Thanks so much for having me on, John. Pleasure. Uh, teleophthalmology is basically using uh, new technologies such as cameras and smartphones mm -hmm. to provide eye care. It can really greatly expand the ability to screen folks, um, especially in communities who may not have easy access to eye care. Mm -hmm. And you've actually been out doing this. How have you been using teleophthalmology in our state? Right, so in our program at Mile Bluff Medical Center in Mauston, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. what we've done is we've put a camera in the primary care clinic okay. building so that mm -hmm. people who are going to the primary care clinic for their diabetes can actually go and get their eyes tested mm -hmm. and have pictures taken with the special camera right mm -hmm. in the same site as their primary care clinic. Those images are then transmitted from Mauston to eye specialists in Madison mm -hmm. who then can screen those folks for eye disease. Yeah, and we're seeing at home the, the, exactly what you're talking about. It's fast fascinating to see and it's accurate right I mean it's uh, it's just like they were there in your office yeah so the technology is very well validated it's actually been used for many years at the VA hospital mm -hmm. across the country it's been used all around the world and what we found is that the sensitivity of the test for diabetic eye disease can be as good or sometimes even better than a live in-person exam just because we have more time to evaluate the eye um, more than just maybe the few seconds that the doctor has to to take a mm -hmm. look. So why are you doing this uh, telemedicine work mm -hmm. in ophthalmology? Yeah, so um, the goal of our program is really to make eye care more accessible and more affordable to the people in our state. And we really want to help people get screening who may not have easy access to mm -hmm. care. They may have to travel long distances otherwise to see an eye specialist. And uh, here in our state, uh, diabetic uh, eye screening guidelines were actually developed based on research conducted here at the University of Wisconsin oh, great. and it's been used all around the world mm -hmm. and so our program is really an extension of a concept known as the Wisconsin idea mm -hmm. which is that the knowledge gained by researchers is used to directly improve the lives of the people of our state and beyond. And that's a great uh, idea indeed and people can actually find out more about this in person. The doctor is going to be giving a free talk. Why don't you tell us, we'll put up on the screen where that is, what you'll be talking about. We have about 30 30 seconds. Okay, great. So to learn more, I'm giving a talk at 6 p.m. on April 21st at 750 Highland Avenue in the Health Sciences Learning Center mm -hmm. in Madison, Wisconsin. And the title of the talk is Telemedicine, Saving Sight at Home and Around the World. All right. And we'll put a link up at newslinks at NBC15.com. Dr. Yao Lu, thank you so much. Fascinating research. Keep up the good work. That's important work you're doing, and we appreciate it. We'll have a final check of the forecast with AJ right after this.